One of the things that, that the beef industry and the cattle industry have been interested in talking a lot about in the last couple of years is resiliency issue and capacity issues in, in the processing sector. And those really came about because of a fire at a Tyson facility in Kansas. And then last year, of course, the COVID shutdowns and the plant shutdowns. And we saw the, the havoc that they created in the market. And so uh, there's been a lot of talk about can we make the industry a little more resilient? Can we increase the capacity? And if you think about it, the industry as we sit right now is kind of like an hourglass. We have all these cattlemen at the top, they're funneling their animals into the processing sector, there's a little kink there, and then it comes back out into the, all the retail establishments selling the meat products. And so when that little kink there in that hourglass gets uh, a problem, we, we, show it, we see it in the livestock market. So there's been some research done that shows that as we get closer and closer to those processing facilities reaching their full capacity, there is an effect on livestock prices. Livestock prices will, will show some decline, and that's because the packers don't need as many animals. They're, they're running full, full tilt. So all those issues are combining, and there's a lot of interest in that. And so uh, our tidbit piece focused a little bit on some of the expansion projects that are coming out of this now. And, and uh, there's a lot of interest in small and medium-sized facilities, and I think we're seeing that. One of the ones for Nebraska that a lot of people are paying attention to is, is one in uh, North Platte, where depending on the reports you look at, it's a 200 to $300 million investment. They're gonna process about 400,000 cattle a year, which is about 1,500 a day. And so for that community in that area, that, that's quite an investment and, and quite a project. Uh, National Beef in Tama, Iowa is investing in an expansion project. They're gonna double their capacity up to 2,500. Uh, cattle per day. And then there's a couple smaller ones, one down in Missouri that was kind of already in progress before all this happened. So we're starting to see a little bit of industry response. And it doesn't, doesn't hurt that uh, the margins in the processing industry are, are good right now. We've got a good beef demand. We've got a lot of cattle that are being processed. So that, that margin attracts people to the industry as well too. And this idea of increasing capacity and, and looking at ways to improve resiliency and boost the small and medium sized producers was something that our task force, our cattle markets task force last summer hit on, summer and fall. And one of their recommendations to look at ways to expand the, the processing capacity to provide more alternatives for, uh, for uh, cattle feeders and, and, and cow-calf operators.